Hello guys, so for today's video, we will be fixing the situation we are having on our DG number 4. That whenever we execute the stop command, then we are having this DG4 engine stop failure. In which that the generator will not stop and still keep running in idle operation. So that's what we are going to fix right now. So come and join me in this new learning. So the first thing I did is to consult the manual and check the stop operation of this generator. And then we go to the local operation side. We put the generator number 4 into local operation and see if it will stop in the local mode. In which after trying to stop the generator in local operation, the generator did stop. By the way, this is the handle for stopping operation. In this particular generator, the stopping operation will require to activate two solenoid coils and these are the control stop valve and the safety stop valve. So since we can stop the generator in local operation, we will start checking the remote operation why is it that this generator cannot stop so this troubleshooting will be focusing into the reading of the wiring diagram so consulting the manual we need to focus on the stop circuit there are two solenoid coil that will be activated during the stop operation of our generator and these are these two solenoid coils which I already showed it to you and this is the control valve and the other one is this safety valve for and we will be focusing on the stop circuit for this control valve this is under the remote operation so let's measure the voltage on 412 413 as you can see that these two lines the f41 or the p41 and n41 they are supplied with 24 volts and tracing the lines this 405 should close every time we activate the stop circuit on the PMS system or on our server. So we will measure voltage on 412 and 413. So the idea is that the engineers will activate the stop command in the engine control room while I'm measuring the voltage supply of this sol solenoid coil. But unfortunately, after doing that so, we do not have 24 volts into this solenoid coil. So, we are not getting 24 volts onto this 412 and 413. Let's move on tracing this 405. It means that this is not closing. That is why we don't have 24 volts. And this 405 contacts is this contactor 405. And this will be activated every time the timer will also be activated. And we need to check now the condition of 405 if it is being activated or not. To check, we also need to measure the voltage on A1 and A2. So this is the 405 contactor. Again, I will ask the engineer to activate the stop command onto the server and see if we are having 
24 volts onto the A1 and A2 of this contactor. Going further to the wiring diagram, we need to check this timer. Since we do not have activation onto this 405, then we need to check the timer 405T. Why is it that this 405 is not activated? Because this is part of the control circuit for the 405, which is this 405T. We will also measure the voltage on number 13 and 14 or the A1, A2 of the 405T. To ensure that we have a good contacts on this 405T, I will be interchanging this timer of the generator number 4 into the generator number 1. In this case, or in this way, we will be sure that we have a good timer onto our system, or at least the contacts for this timer designated for the 405 contactor is really in good condition. And then, I again ask the engineers to activate the stop command and measure the voltage of this timer which is not getting 24 volts. Now we are also sure that we do not have voltage on 13 and 14 and the control contacts for that one is this 4SPX which we need to check the relay 4SPX and we need to check this B42E page. And the B42A page is this B42 and then this 4SPX. And this is the engine stop for the generator. And then this 4SPX. We need to check now if we have voltage on 13 and 14 this is also 24 volts uh, supply to ensure also that we have a good contacts on to our 4 spx i also interchange this relay onto our number one generator this generator number one is not running so just to be sure that we have a good condition on the contacts and then we will measure again the supply voltage on this relay if we are getting 24 volts. And then I ask the engineers to do the stop command again onto the generator number 4. So finally, we are not getting 24 volts on the 13 and 14. So it means that this 4 B PB2 is not closing. And this is the one that controls our whole engine stop which is this is being controlled by the controller or or the module of our PMS card like if we press the stop command onto our computer this should stop should that should be processed by the PMS card and activate the 4 SPX it means that that command is not closing this for PB2. So it means that we have a problem onto this card or this PMS module card. The solution to fix this trouble that we might be doing is to remove this supply cable of this card and then we will see what will happen. But then again, we need to be sure that this doesn't give any bad implications onto this card. To be sure, we will send email to the maker of this PMS card and wait for their advice. And because of the troubleshooting that we carried out, we know for sure that the problem is coming from the PMS module. And while we are waiting for their reply, we will shut this DG number for locally. I will give you an update once we receive the reply from the maker. But for now, I hope you learned something from this video. And this is your Lucky Jake and see you.